Chris Jenkins alongside the very small Cade Mays. Thank you for joining me after practice today. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate you having me. <laughs> I really do feel small, guys. But uh, just a few questions. Each year, I like to, I say sit down, but to stand up with the rookies, ask you some questions, help fans uh, get to know you. First question, I told Cade, I also, I also had to write these questions down so I wouldn't forget. What has your training camp experience been like so far in the NFL? It's been really cool, you know, a dream come true, just uh, trying to learn as much as I can from the older guys and, and taking the meetings, transitioning to the field. And, you know, like I said, just learn as much as I can. Gotcha. My, my, my notes keep changing as a turn. As you learn to navigate your position uh, and your responsibilities, what have you, I'm sorry, have you had a, a big brother kind of that's evolved to help you with that position, training and, and skill set that you're trying to build at the NFL level? Um, really everybody in the line room, but, you know, I've been leaning on, on Pat and, and Bose. Uh, I've never really played center before, and it's been a while. So just leaning on them, trying to pick up things. Obviously, they've done it for quite a few years in the league. So just leaning on them, trying to figure out, you know, little tips that I can get from them. And you mentioned playing center. Is that the position you've been at the most, or have you moved around too much or any, any of this? Yeah, I've played all three on the inside pretty equally. So um, just left guard, center, and right guard. Okay. How different has this playbook been at the pro level than it was for you in college? Um, it's very different. I played tackle my last year in college, and it was – you know, 90% man blocks or, you know, B blocks coming down on the three tech. So it's, it's a lot of moving parts. It's a lot to remember and a lot to, to uh, retain. So, you know, like I said, just trying to take as much as I can and learn it and, you know, take it day by day, put it together. Now we're down in college. So, you know, people used to have a lot of fun in college. You're a rookie. Have there been any good rookie moments that you could share that you've experienced so far down here in Wofford, whether it's getting snacks or singing or anything like that? Yeah. So uh, me and Nikki, we, we, uh, we went and got some snacks for the old line room and then Figured we put a little a little flavor to our to our old line meeting room and went and got some lava lamps a little you know smell a little what's it called an air diffuser put some yeah. uh, essential oils in there and then you know it's been the team meeting's been really cool all the rookies you know been singing and stuff I had I had to sing last night and got a little <laughs> round of applause so so that was cool I didn't get booed but yeah it's been fun I won't ask you what you say I mean how to sing no, I'm sorry I won't ask you to sing it but we'll ask you what did you sing I sang Your Man by Josh Turner and did I don't have <laughs> So there you go, as, as luck would have it, very first interview of the season. If you look back at the video, maybe play the slow motion. I'm gonna have to do all that production for you guys. You'll see my finger hit the mute button on the microphone. And the very last question between me and Cade Mays was eliminated because it was muted. So I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video with me and Cade. There will be more videos. I'm trying to do every last rookie uh, from the 2022 draft. So stay tuned. Appreciate you as always. Subscribe, hit the like button. And yes, go ahead and make fun of me in the comments about hitting the mute button, but it is what it is. Hey, Chris Jenkins reporting for Charlotte Vibe.